Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I don't know what happened to the situation here, but I kind of lost what I, I thought I had the camera on, but apparently not. Because what I did. But anyway, check this out. That is the start of a winter stock tank breeding area for a hundred females. Okay, I'm going to wheel you over there. I'm going to drop you down and there you go. Okay. And what you're looking at is those two rocks right there, okay, right there, okay, that's what's holding that down, that is a uh, PVC pipe with java moss on it, netting, I have netting on the end, capped off, so there's nothing but the babies can go in there, the fry, nothing bigger than a piece of rice. I have a hundred female breeders in here. I have the pipe right there. It's right here. The pipe right there. That goes to the pump right there. Which is right it's down there. It's right there. See where the bubbles are? Right there. Right where my rake is. My back tracker. That's the pump. That right there is the air hose I have on it. All this blue right here is all fake plants stuffed behind a picture frame glass that I silicone on to the tank. So the pump would stick to the glass. Okay. So that kind of works out right there. That's like a 400 gallon per hour tank uh, pump right there. So that does that. I want to fill this up a little bit more than what I got it because I got it about halfway now. Okay. Like I said, it's 110 gallon. So right now, being I just put them in here tonight. I'm letting them get used to where it's at, getting things, I just put them in there and they're just kind of doing their thing, searching out things. I have real plants right there, down at the bottom here, you probably can't see it, but where that is right there, that bubbles, that green, is real plant, I've got rocks right in there, holding the pipe up, so the baby can go in that, so... Then I got all them rocks. I got rocks behind it, under it, and in front of it. So I got baby factory there going on. And then I got that fake plant right here. I'll get it right here in a minute. That fake plant right there. I don't know where my pointer went off to it left. But then palm you can see the palms there. That's a, that white right there, you see right there, not that, but that right there, that white right there, is a PVC pipe. Matter of fact, I'll show you here. Like this. That right there, you see that right there? That right there is a PVC pipe with holes in it. Then I stuck fake plants in. They'll have babies in there. And then when I fill it up more, I'll have these plants over here. I'll have these plants right here underwater. Not all of it underwater. And they'll have babies over there. So, I think this setup will work wonders for a... 110 gallon stock tank breeding. Breeding stock tank. Um, 
I have uh, 100 ma uh, 100 females to about 10 females uh, to, to about 10 males in there and I think that will be awesome possible This is Jeffy Frenzy, giving you a live view of what her winter stock pod Jeffy's breeding tank will look like. Nice and quiet. Because I have to sleep in there too. So, yeah. And then I have. Then I have that one right over there. I have the Tenga. I have the. I'll get it right here in a minute. In between the two fifty five there, that one and that one is the thirty gallon. That right there is thirty gallon. I mean right there. And that one's a fifty five. And that one's a fifty five. On here. What the stock pond is right at the end of it is 10 gallon. And there's a stock pond right there. That right there is 10 gallon. That is my show guppy tank. Uh, show guppy tank. Where if I want to show guppies on a video, I take them and put them in there. Okay. So that works right there. Mind you, I have no, uh, no certain breed, no certain colors. They're nothing but pure, healthy, happy, good-looking mutt breeders, mutt guppies. They have really produced for me. I started with eight in October. And this is only the 7th of September, so it'll be a year that I started this batch off of eight guppies. So I'm doing really good for where I'm at, for not having no outside breeding come in and have the danger of something happening. I started with eight, and I've got, oh, 100 female. Got about a hundred males. I got about three hundred babies. So I can't complain off of eight guppies. Okay. I must be doing something right. So I am very pleased with my success. And I would like to uh, keep it going. For never have, for never ever growing guppies in my life. I am shocked. Surprised, enthused, flabbergasted about what I have done where, with where I have started from. So, let me uh, let you go because this is probably more lengthy than you planned on being. But I thought I would give you a video of what I got going. And if you're interested in what I got, I hey, I'm not going to be expensive. I'm not going to rip somebody off, okay? And I'd like to make a little money off of this. I mean, if you want some of what I got, I'm more than willing to sell it to you. So, you know, don't be scared to ask how much I want for them because you'll be shocked when I tell you, okay? And I don't mean that in a bad way either. So, anyway, let me let you go. I just thought I'd share a video with you guys. Like, share, and subscribe and if you want more. And, uh, hey, I hope to see you. I'll catch you later. Bye. Uh.